Welcome back to Zerker Gaming. I am the Berserker and this is Cyberpunk 2077. But most importantly, and I'm very excited to tell you that I think I solved the annoying whirring noise by putting my PlayStation nowhere near me right now. It is all the way back there somewhere. Um, so if you hated that as much as I did, hopefully, and we're also patient enough to get this far, uh, hopefully you can keep watching the series. So... Let's just get right to it. Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. You included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? smoke then go out and get some just need one last one jesus fucking christ man the fuck kind of joy toy are you supposed to be fucking ghost off <laughs> who you work for start talking fuck Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself. No, wait. Ah. Oh. I'll take control. I'll find a way. You hear me? Keanu Reeves, why? I wanted to be friends. See you never, asshole. Now like that, stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. I can feel it. Our minds touch on you. I'm like mold on fruit creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Oh, fuck me. Real glad I got nudity turned off. Gamera here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. Dabel has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Four 
percent of military employees. Uh, I'm Eric Nickball with WNS News. Haze both toxic and biological. Johnny, did you see what happened? Something feels off here. You don't say. Don't mean the wreck. I mean the run. The city's most courteous chauffeur ups and drives away from the scene of an accident. Am I cursed? Like, can I not, like, keep a car? Like... Not even to say anything. Sid, you do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Varasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. I'm thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Don't think so, no. Can you expand? Don't matter how much perfume the corpo sprays on mornings. By lunch, that's replaced by the stench of skullduggery. Only thing I caught from Evelyn was determination. And I do stink of skullduggery. Nope. You're starting to stink. Period. Mm. Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Hey, wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice. In Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip. The relic is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. 
You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Last thing we want to do is to draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. I'll get back to you. I need time to plan. Organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. Mean to say you worked for Saburo, yet got no idea how to talk to the High and Mighty. She wished to have nothing to do with the man accused of murdering Saburo Arasaka. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. Dolma is choosy, expensive, and rude. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she would not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Helma, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. 
make like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud <laughs> to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seeing your memories, gross. Rogel danced any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. So the entire time that was happening, I can still hear my PlayStation from across the room. So hopefully my massive body is blocking the sound from hitting the mic. I think I got a problem with how I parked this car. Hey, look. Maybe it's been a long time. Wakaku Akata, the lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well, you and that friend of yours. Until then. Hey, look. Would you look at that? You see it too, right? Either gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Eh, more likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe I ask them both. seen you here before got a good memory for faces we're closed right now need to talk to punch and Judy she in her den yep take the stairs down I'll let Judy know you're coming just don't let me catch you messing around okay Beat some sense into him. That don't work. I don't know. Use lead. I, I don't care. I just want my room back. Your pimp threw you out. That it? Man, a pimp threw her out. Hey, where are you going? Nothing to sit back here. Why? Judy's friend. Yeah. Stop telling every joy toy you need to come here. What the hell am I supposed to do with them all? I don't. Must be our rep. Girls need help. They come here. 
Last time I checked, we weren't running a shelter. You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guests. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. Hey, Judy. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Moxes and nomads don't seem so different. Both seem to yammer a lot about community. Solidarity. Classic dilemma. What comes first? Family or the outside this world? This is a club. Nobody cares about your lofty world views. Alright, girl. <laughs> Jeez. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on it. it wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega Tower. Luxurious. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Okay? I'll give you a call, okay? Thanks. Thank you, V. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Don't you have somewhere to be? Not really. What up? Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Nobody can hold a candle to Judy. She cuts virtues like they were diamonds. Damn straight. Sadly, Judy only has eyes for Evelyn. They call me Mr. Hands. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's V. And what? No pleased to meet you? Hmm. I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me. Should we go see Wakako? I didn't realize there was a wall. Gun may be pink, but I don't like it. The girl just teleport. Should have teleported better. What? I thought it was a bad guy. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, we had ourselves our little murder vacation. Now it's time to get paid for that job we did back when, you know. Well, well, who do I spy but V in my humble parlor, no less? Wukako, long time no see. So what brings you here? You been smoking in this room? It's kind of hazy. We have some outstanding biz to sell. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Here is your reward. 
It comes with a fairly ample bonus. Go see a Ripper Doc. They'll weave you a dermo imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A Tiger Claw specialty. I can't help asking. How many of those husbands did you have? Five. All went before the time. Terrible family tragedy. You're not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow. For my nine sons. And on that note, we're leaving. There we go. I had to get real close. More elevators. The way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. Just outside Nova Sibirsk in southern Siberia has concluded. What if I miss this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence, we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. I think Judy's lying. Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. I don't know, I feel kind of like a buddy cop vibe starting. Well, glad I waited. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Samurai. And saved. Now, bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Two matches. Interesting. Is that normal or... Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be, Angel or Sky? Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Of course. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Go eat a dick, Johnny. Thank you. We hope you enjoy your stay.
Hi, I'm Sky. And you must be Vincent. V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay then. V. Welp, looks like this'll be interesting. So, V, you're dying. Whoa! Ah. <laughs> uh, how'd you know I'm dying? We're gonna... Deep inside. You fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. There's something in those mirrors. Way back. It's a projection. Your inner landscape. Just what I needed. Therapy with a robo-hooker. I'm not here to analyze you. That's not something I do. I'm here to fulfill your deepest, most hidden desire. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. I asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. I was told this place to fulfill my deepest desires. Not what I was expecting, this. When true desires go unfulfilled, they turn into needs. We are here to reach for them and beyond. We are here to understand. So what is it I need so badly? To come to terms with the fact that you died. Now move on already. That's tough. Rather let it eat away at me a bit more. Fear of death is what drives us all to do what we do. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? It wasn't so long ago I really wanted that. But then all this shit happened. Seems like I was living in a dreamland. I just want the world to know that I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? The people I've lost live on in my thoughts. And that's what I'll be. A memory. Or just an annoying little voice in someone else's head. You don't see death as destruction. The end. But as a change. That thought alone could save your life. I think I might just be... Afraid. So I imagine these things to distract myself from the thought of... The void. Because that's about what greeted me before. Fear is your most effective weapon in the fight against death. So what now? Now. You find out what it is you need to do. Which is... You're gonna tell me? You've never backed down. From anything in your life. Even when you maybe should have. You go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you now. 
But how do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez, don't even feel like getting up. Few do. But everything has its end. Samurai. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. I need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you, Barjan, violate it, try to rearrange. No. You gotta help me. Please. I'm no threat, but she could be in trouble. I just want to talk to her, find out if she's okay. In case you haven't noticed, doll work's not the most secure job in the world. One day you're in, the next you're out, and maybe gone. Anything out of the ordinary happened here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think, an XBD star? Where will I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turn out to be useful after all. See if we can find Evelyn's booth. Then talk to Tom. Let's take a look, shall we? Blood. Fresh. Not too much. Put it to a wound rather than a kill. His deepest desires were different than mine. Well, client wasn't the one who flew off the handle. Something bitter in the ass. What do you think? Cyberpsychosis? Sounds crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. And that runner? Weird. See that? See what? Nothing there. Exactly. There should be a port right there for the doll to jack into. They rip it out? Wonder why. Can't get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week! You're not authorized week. to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am! No, sir, you're not. 
You can take it up with the manager. No, dog. I'm taking it up with you. Here. Now. You got any idea who I am? Is there a problem? This conk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. Or we're gonna have to escort you outside. Oh, no shortage of wise asses. Well, you going back upstairs? In a minute. I need to piss first. <sighs> I'll be honest with you, I didn't I didn't mean to kill him. I was just gonna knock him out. Yes indeed, access granted. You better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much, even for me. Hi. Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure. Uh, I don't have your details. Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. Nice shorts. You Short? need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. You mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Which was it? Osaka or Oslo? Uh, Oslo. Yeah, definitely Oslo. Tell you herself she was skipping town? I see. Of course I'm Nah, happy. just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so... Yeah, I, I asked Woodman what was up. It. Told me she left, like I said. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals Pimp. with ugly situations. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges in these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing. Better guitar. Oh yeah, I'm good. Got some new hardware. <laughs> Motorcycle, not motor. A washing machine has a motor. Uh, can we? Have you ever heard of Jotaro Shoko? He's one of the key class. Yeah, I've heard. A fucking psycho. Like the rupee. Looks familiar. What's that? Evelyn's jacket. It's crumpled like a tissue. He must have been here a while. Assholes like Shobu have been on my blacklist before I heard of him. The Mock's blacklist is more powerful. It actually means something. I'll believe it when I see his rotting, stinking corpse. Amen to that. <laughs> yeah, I have that bike. I know where it. No cameras back here. Bouncer schedule. Someone's here. I can feel it. 
And I screwed up. I screwed up bad. For a girl. Okay, Cap. Interesting word choice for someone who plowed through, massacring all along the way. Things got out of hand, I'll admit. But cooperate, and no one else will get hurt. I don't negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> Aren't you the king of fuck-ups? You're not helping. Now what? Hell, why don't you just scan the truth from his gray, lifeless eyes? Or scour his cop? That just might work. I'm, I'm not really specced for swords. Uh... Uh, do, 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 do. No. Um. Sold her off to a ripper. Chip was busted. Could have sent her to get it patched up. A ripper named Fingers in a back alley for hookers. Sounds like a Joy Toys wet dream. I'm really glad Johnny's able to read all this because I'm not gonna. If you guys want to pause it or I don't know set the video to play and slow Ooh, a pan of hot dog left a purse could have had more than one all the shit's in it, though. Must have left in a hurry. Time to murder. for that recoil. This is much more my style. seeing here. I'm mostly just relying on the auto targeting. to return your weapons. Hey, I don't know anything. I just work here. Hey. You give me back my guns. We're all good, girl. See you next time. Nice work back there. Ever thought of applying for the diplomatic corps? 
think Finger's got her. I think we'll find her there. V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. Don't have time to massage egos. I respect that. <laughs> of course you do. You'd have loved to have dropped the H-bomb in this place. No need to go so OTT. I've got other methods. One thing's for sure, though. Claus won't forget this. You had a plan, you tried, it fell flat. Now you're flat. Don't look in any condition to find Hellman. Ah, oh, fuck! What the hell's that? No, 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 no damn, damn it. it. Jesus, what the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. Gonna decommission before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Asked you already. What the hell you want from me? I got a get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. See, me and Arasaka, we got a half-century-old score neat settling, and I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. Never been recruited into a terrorist cell before. Feel Listen, kind of honored, I actually. know things. Where we can save your life, who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. I'm down. Okay, so... This Makoshi, what is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Yeah, seen the memories. Did a real number on you. Okay, seems we've got a few more things to broach than I thought, but that'll come later. Anyway, when Soul Killer fries, roasts, and boils you, you die. But the contents of your mind get copied to an engram first. Sure. That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Makoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Still don't see how Makoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are you? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. The floating cigarettes are kind of distracting. And, uh, how you plan to smash Arisaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time, bombs named Alta Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is? Not yet. But you will once we find what we need. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside, Makoshi.
I'm going to end it right here. This episode's gone on for quite a bit. So I will see you all next time.